Hey there, preschool team. So this coming Sunday, December 9th, <clears throat> we are learning about um, Jesus being born in a stable. And the Bible story for this Sunday is um, obviously about that. So I'm just going to like quickly read it to you um, just super fast. Um, now, lots of times when a baby is born, they are born in a hospital with doctors and nurses and everything is clean and safe. But Jesus was born a long, long time ago and it was very different. I would think Jesus would be born in the nicest, biggest, bestest hospital ever with lots and lots of important people there to take care of him. I mean, after all, Jesus is God's son. That's why Jesus is so special. But it wasn't like that at all. There was no hospital or doctors or anything like that. <clears throat> Our story begins with Joseph and Mary, Jesus' mommy. Mary was riding on a donkey. Can you make a donkey sound? Say hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. <clears throat> Good job. This donkey carried Mary all the way to a town called Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph got there, you would think the entire town would be there to welcome them and throw a party because Jesus, God's son, was about to be born. But there was no one to welcome them. There was no one to help them. There was no party. The people didn't know that the baby Mary was about to have was so special. So when Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem and knocked on the door of a place to stay, knock, knock, like have everybody pretend to knock with you. Um, the people said there was no more room, but they could stay in the stable where the animals, with the animals if they wanted. Can you guess what kind of animals might have been in the stable with Mary and Joseph? I'll make the sound and you say out loud what animal you think it is. Moo, yes, a cow. Bok, 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 right again, it's a chicken. Okay, let's, let's try one more. What is this? Ba, ba. You're so good at this, it's a sheep. The stable wasn't a nice clean hospital, but it was a warm, safe place for Mary and Joseph to rest. And it wasn't long before the sound was in the stable. Make a sweet crying baby sound. Wee, wee. <clears throat> yes, a baby. Baby Jesus was born right there in the stable. The most special baby in the whole world had been born. And the only people who knew were Mary and Joseph. This wasn't a big party, but all that was about to change but you'll have to come back next time to hear about it. Tell me one more time, why is Jesus special? And then everyone says together, Jesus is God's son. So that's the Bible story for this Sunday. Um, here's the craft, I'm still kind of like working on it. So this, it's a little tree ornament, I think you can see it. This is, it's a wooden tree, it's wood and there's some twine. Um, my first thought was, oh, we'll just glue some buttons on it. And then I thought, well, let's take it a step further and maybe do some like fingerprints. So I, uh, <laughs> I was working with the, with the crazy dots marker, um, trying to get some fingerprints on here. So I don't know if we're going to do that or not, but, um, if anyone has a, has a better idea on how to get some little cute little fingerprints on here, um, I think that would be super special too. But if not, we're just going to glue some buttons on these little tree ornaments and write their names on the back with, um, 2018 on the back, you know, so they'll have something special to take home and put on their tree. Um, again, so I'm just kind of recapping what's going on this Sunday. Um, still the same routine as far as bathroom breaks. If you, when you come into the room, go ahead and grab the lesson guide out of the box and it'll tell you word for word where to go, what to do, um, what time, like what comes next, those types of things. So um, I hope everyone's having a great week. Um, there's a couple of other videos on the Facebook page. There's one that um, Pastor Connie um, made for us is, um, to discuss, you know, what to say about Santa Claus this season. And then there's also another video from Hannah, um, just kind of recapping our, um, our policies and procedures as far as bathroom breaks and diaper changes and being in the room with the kids um, and all of those things. So I hope everyone has a great week. I'm so excited for Sunday. This craft is going to be super cute. Parents are going to love it. And if you guys have any questions, of course, um, give me a shout out, email, call me, text me, whatever, whatever way you want to get in touch with me. So I hope you all have a great week and I'll see y'all on Sunday.